We got to give the introduction. Kenny Burns, cultural icon, curator, curator of culture, one of the hottest people on Instagram, period. The hottest um, host on radio right now. He's yeah, killing the yeah, game. Yeah. I, was actually, I was actually on his show a few weeks ago. TKBS show. Yes, yes. Um, V103 V in Atlanta. Um, Kenny, man, you really, you really are one of our favorite people because you came on, just like Dame, like as far as like, you didn't, you didn't give us an assistance phone number. We got your direct line. You came to us. Just a humble, super humble dude. Pulled up on us. And then just been extremely helpful. The Dame Dash situation was courtesy of Kenny Burns. That would, yeah. that would not have happened without Kenny Burns. So that's why it's dope that they could actually link up um, on EYL. It's an EYL moment. Yes, yeah, that was crazy. Um, man. I'm getting not, text messages right now. Kenny like, knows everybody. If you follow him on Instagram, he's been, he was doing this uh, Instagram live thing. And he literally interviewed everybody. Kevin Hart, Jamie Foxx. Like big name, like A list celebrities. Pick like, one. Who didn't you? Yeah, it, Shaq. It, it was crazy. Yeah, Shaq. It was crazy. Like I'm like, yo, who does he, this dude not know? Like, <laughs> yo, he the plug for real. He knows everybody. So first and foremost, welcome back, champ. Yeah, man. I'm happy to be here. I'm super proud of y'all. You know, um, I came on the show, and it's 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 like my experience, man. The reason we connected. You know, I think that in life you you run across people that mean more than that moment. You know what I'm saying? I think yeah. it's the show. We just been connected, man. And it's been organic, you know? You, you definitely aren't scared to ask for what you need or who you want to be <laughs> with, you know what I mean? So I respect that though, because closed mouths don't get fed. And, and you know, you got a, a big brother in me for life, man. I love what y'all doing. Yeah, KB, you've been A1 since the beginning, man. Like, and, and that's what I love most about you, man. It's just been like, yo, whatever y'all need, Y'all got it. And from day one, it was like, yo, y'all my little brothers now. Like, that's how much, that's how important y'all are. Yeah. So, man, shout out to you again. I just want to give you your flowers right now, bro. Right. Kenny's, a, Kenny's a legend. I, I want to, I want to, I want, we're going to let the public ask you some questions. But I had, I had a question because you really, I feel like, I don't even want to say reinvented yourself, but like, you know, COVID was a tough time for a lot of people. Um, A lot of people suffered from, you know, just depression and, you know, they was locked in the house. And, but you really took it as an opportunity to just rebrand your whole situation with the um the lives that you was doing on Instagram. And then from there, now you got, you know, one of the hottest radio shows and you just kind of, so like, how, what was your mindset going into that? Like when, when COVID hit, cause you throw parties and it's like, I, I'm, I'm assuming you lost some money at the beginning of it. Cause it's like, you know, the party scene was over, nightlife was over and all of that. So like, how did you like say, okay, you know what? I'm not going to let this get me down. I'm gonna find, I'm gonna find an opportunity in this. Yeah, I mean, it really was the second day in the COVID. Um, I lost about 300 grand in events. Uh, you got to imagine NCAA tournament was coming to Atlanta. We mm -hmm. had, you know, all these big things happening all the way to Essence. And so it was just one of the things where I had to sit back, man, and kind of like peel back some layers. I think, funny you say that, like I'm, I reinvented myself. I reinvented myself 20 times since I've started. And I think that's the key to my longevity. And, you know, my wife and my sister who owns Ball Alert, she was like, yo, you need to be more vulnerable. You're too polished. Everybody sees you. They only see the good times. They only see the fly outfits. They only see the relationships with all these people. And you could be a little bit more vulnerable. And I was like, what you mean? You want me to be sad and shit? And just like, you know what I mean? I was like, that's not even my personality. I was like, no, vulnerable is sharing more of yourself. And so I literally sat down and I cut that IG live on. And I started with just me at first. Mm -hmm. And then I was like getting literally people requesting to go live that happened to be some of my celebrity, you know what I'm saying, relationships. I wouldn't call them all friends, but they know they're safe with me in the way that I frame culture. And I literally, bro, just was bringing them on. And then literally one after the other, it was like, damn, I've had more people on my show than nightlife, nightlife television. You know what I'm saying? I have, That's I have that, more, man. I've had more, I had more people on my lives with more in, intimate and important conversations than any nightlife host on television. Yeah, we was locked in, man. Every day at three, I was locked in, man. Even the Dame Dash situation, I, man, we spoke about that interview. I'm like, yo, we need to get Dame, man, because that was so big, man. It was just like, he just, how's he doing this? You know what I'm saying? Like, the relationships were so good. The interviews were even incredible. I'm like, this got to be something bigger, right? So how did we turn that into TKBS network? Well, the, the radio station now. Yeah, well, I mean, I always had the Kenny Burns show. The Kenny Burns show has been started and stopped over the last 13 years. I started online with my camera, just going, me filming myself going around the country to all the dope events I would host. Um, and yeah, then I would have to stop because a bigger bag would come or I was helping somebody else 
fulfill their dreams. And when COVID happened, like I said, man, I had to peel back those layers. And my wife told me, she's like, you're what everybody buys into. So, you know, won't you do, you know, ultimately you and nobody else. And I was like, you know what? Let me do that. It's time. I, you know, culture trusts me. I've proven myself to culture. I made many a superstar. I made many a brand. And yeah, the, the shit's been lights out Joe Jackson ever since. I feel like I should have a bobblehead of you right now. <laughs> in true, in true the TKBS legend, legend, fashion. The legendary bobblehead <laughs> they're situation. On, they're on the way. The Kenny Burns <laughs> on. You can have Obama. For <laughs> there it is. There it is. So let, 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 let's get into some questions. I'm sure people, you know, Kenny, like I said, Kenny's the curator of culture. Fact. And a true renaissance man. So people might need some information, some game. So who are we going Free to? Man. Let's go. Roy Hatcher, what's going on? Unmute yourself. You've been unmuted. Roy, you there? Well, bathroom break. <laughs> Guidelines, there are no bathroom breaks during Earn Your Leisure Live podcast. Yeah. All right, we going to Doris. We coming to you. Doris, unmute yourself. You've been unmuted. Doris, what's up? Doris is ready. Hey. What's up, Doris? Hello? How are you doing? Can you we hear me? You? Yep, yeah, we hear you. you perfect. Oh, my God, you just made my whole night. I'm just going to say that. <laughs> um, <laughs> My question is, how do you, I'm going to say, overcome fear of actually pursuing what you want to do? That's, that's a great that's question. My question. Yeah, no, that's a great question. I mean, fear is imminent, right? But fear shouldn't keep you from doing what you, you know, were purposefully put here to do. And I think part of that is like really purposeful, right? Like you have to find your purpose in you know, your, your passion, that you have to find your purpose in what you were meant to do. For me, I've always given free game. I've always plugged together, you know, guys like Rashad, you know what I'm saying? And their platforms with people like Dane Dash, because that was just something that was innate in me. But when I dove into my purpose, Doris, I'm talking about like literally like taking all the disappointments. And, and to be honest, Doris, that's a great question because when I, when I started, I was given blueprints and setting forth guidelines on the path without even knowing it. And then when I was conscious, you know, really conscious in my purpose, I was like, you know what? This is, this has to be about everything else but me. And when I did that, Doris, I built many a brand, including helping Rockefeller from the beginning, I, you know, helping Puff Daddy from the beginning. And as soon as I left and decided to do me, Doris, the biggest investment I ever made, Uncle Near, is the fastest growing independently owned American whiskey in U.S. history. My show went from IG Live to the number top 10 radio station in the country, number one in Georgia, which in 18 months, I'll be in 70 markets. Like TV knocking down my door because of the way that I frame culture and how real I am with the people that I, I, I connect with. So I just say, you know, you got to put purpose with your passion and connect those dots because with that, you're unstoppable. Uh, that's, a fact. that's a fact, man. And I think that's I think what that is great. Yeah, Kezi, you just said that. Shout out to you, Doris. She was like, "Yo, if you scared, do it while you scared. Do it while you scared. That's do it while you scared, man." I, I think fear is imminent. Fear is part of your process. That's the shit that you know has you on alert, so that when you actually get the opportunity, you're ready. Yeah, let's do it. Let's uh, let's go to Carlton. We coming to you, Carlton. What's going on? Unmute yourself. You've been unmuted, Carlton. You here? Yeah, how y'all doing? We good, good bro. Good. How you? What's up? I'm good, man. I'm good. I just want to say thanks for y'all. Y'all are real inspiration. I'm a young college student, and I uh, I I try to use all y'all gems that y'all give me every day in different ways. Appreciate that, bro. Um, my question is like it's a real estate question. Is do that fit right now? You got a real estate question? Yeah, we could we could try to answer right. it. Or well, we might have somebody here. I, I got somebody who can answer it for you. What's up? Surprise guest. What's the question, right. bro? My question is um, I've been looking at properties lately. And yeah. I, I saw a property. It's it's like a fixer upper. It's like five thousand. Would that be a bad intro to real estate? Hold on, say it again a little louder, because we, we we got somebody. We know, we know. <laughs> this is the EYL moment. Now, come on, now, now, he good, he good. He got the chip. Yeah. Oh, MG, the mortgage guy, how you doing? <laughs> you know, yeah, I told you, it's a party, man. We, we having a good time over here. Let me know who we gonna bring. Let's talk real quick. 
Yeah, so would it be bad for a first-time home buyer? I'm 20 years old. I'm looking to get into real estate. Would it be bad for me to start off with a fixer-up property? I mean, it's your first property, man. You got to look at what's your level of, ex of experience. I mean, mm -hmm. how, how, how much have you been learning? You got to start with um, learning. As your foundation build, are you ready? If you're ready, then execute. I'm still learning. That's what I'm saying. I'm still learning. I'm trying to learn as much as I can. Yeah, I, I feel mean, execution is soon. Look, if you if you're learning, just keep learning, keep saving, get your credit right. Um, there's plenty of programs out there, FHA, conventional, low down payments. There's plenty of opportunities out there, but just keep learning first and, and building your foundation, hiring your team, interviewing people. And then when you're ready to go, you're going to have all your ducks in a row and then you could just execute and it'll be flawless. But just learn from people's mistakes. You're part of EYLU. There's plenty of education there. Right. Bring you know, them red Sundays, man. I mean, join the calls every Sunday. Um, yeah, I try. I'm on Market Mondays every Monday. I'm in, I try to get in a lot of stocks, learn, too. You want to learn real oh, estate listen. and financing, so make sure you're on the Break Bread calls as well. Um, Market Mondays is great. Shout out to Ian. Um, it's real estate and stocks and insurance and everything, That's right? Cool. It's everything. Do everything. Just execute. Um, yeah, learn. I feel like I'm in the right place for learning. Sorry to cut you oh, off. Absolutely. You definitely are. There's plenty of classes. Um, you have a bunch of alumni who are industry professionals from taxes to real estate to stocks to everything. Financial advisor, Bashar got his call coming up. So you can learn everything at EYLU. And when you're ready, execute. Appreciate it. Yeah, um, thank you. We appreciate you, appreciate bro. the question. Shout out to MG for making a surprise. Yeah. <laughs> well, hold on. Let me let me just say this real quick. Shout out to my guys right here. Yo, that's a fact. Yo, I'm, I'm super proud of these guys. Kenny, good to meet you. Um, but this is amazing. You got a question for Kenny? I mean, Kenny's a legend, man. Um, I, I want to have an off the off camera conversation with Kenny. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We we come, we drink, we smoke, um, and, and let's let's talk and let's build. But um, thank you for everything you've done for the culture. Shout out to my guy Jamal who just walked in. Um <laughs> But <laughs> shout out to Mike, yeah, shout out to everybody, man. So I'm gonna get up off this, but thank you, Kenny. I appreciate y'all. I can't wait to come to Wakanda and check with you. MG, the mortgage guy. Hey, yo, Kenny, man, Mike is here. Remember the position we saw him in when we did your interview? <laughs> yeah, he's very close to that right now. He likes to alone, man. I'm getting, I'm getting big over here. Oh, I'm, sure, I'm, sure. I'm trying to get in good spirits with Kenny, man. Kenny, man, how you doing, brother? How you doing? What's up, brother? How are you? Peace and love, man. Peace and love. love. He's still trying to get I'm an invite good, to cassette. I'm doing good. I'm up, man. I'm up. I'm up. I'm, up. I'm awake. I'm listening. I forgot. <laughs> I, I forgot about that situation. That was a, that was a situation. That's how we knew Kenny was a real one, man. Because yeah. even after that yeah. elevator ride, I totally do. I told the, the bros, like, yo, after that elevator ride, you was just like, yo, man, don't worry. Just keep going. There's always going to be somebody. I'm not that guy. And I was like, yo, this is a real nah, dude. He, he, A1. He handled himself very, 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 uh, very nicely. Very nicely. <laughs> could have turned. That could have that, that could have nah, turned. Mike, we love you. You know, yo, bro. Yo, <laughs> yo this guy just popped, this guy just popped a champagne bottle on himself. And on, like five times. He did it like five times. Like, yo, just go outside next time, bro. Yo, Kenny, man. Yeah, let's go to somebody else. <laughs> Anthony Walker, what's up? You've been unmuted. Unmute yourself. We're just having a good time over here at EYL. <laughs> yeah, without me, it'll be boring. What's no, up, put, bro? Now, put, nah, put your shirt on. Anthony, he's unmuted? Yeah. Anthony, what's good, baby? Oh, now nah, he unmuted. Turn his mic. What, what's going on? He got it. Anthony, you there? Oh, man. I don't think he knows how. He's not figuring out how to use it correctly. Ah, uh, we got to leave him, bro. Yeah. Damn. Damn. All right, let's, let's go to Andre. Andre, unmute yourself. You've been unmuted. Up! Oh, everybody Damn. went to the bathroom. They they nerve. They be getting nervous, man. They, they be getting nervous. They had the hand raised for so long. Uncle Nearest. They asked me what the liquor was. Uncle Nearest. That's what it is. Put it up, Kenny. Yeah, go support that. Go support that. I haven't seen this name before. Wallace Thomas. We are coming to you, Wallace. Hey, fellas, how y'all doing? We are Good. great, we man. What's going on? Shout out to you hey. and your beautiful hey. wife, man. Thank you. I just want to tell y'all. First off, I, I send y'all messages to Instagram, but really, Kenny Burns. Uh, all the Ewell family, man, I, I applaud you guys for what you do for the culture, for the love y'all show to the culture. Thanks for introducing me to Mark Marone and just all the episodes that y'all do, man. I love all three y'all. 
and y'all whole teams, y'all doing a great job. So I appreciate y'all on that. And also just wanted to give y'all some flowers while, I, while I'm on the line with y'all, but I've been following y'all for a minute. And everybody that's looking to start a business or do a business, um, I put them on to that. Uh, Kenny, every time I was going down to Birmingham, Alabama, I was stopping uh, Tennessee and get the uncle nearest after I saw Fawn Weaver on the Breakfast Club. So I really love what y'all doing with that brand and just bringing bringing bring it to light what Uncle Nearest was to uh you know to uh Jack Daniels and his family. So just kudos to all you guys, man. Nah, man. thank you. And can you keep to, you got a question? I was gonna ask Kenny to talk about the Uncle Nearest actually, because people might not know that story. But if you you, you got a question? Yeah, I had a question for uh Kenny. Okay. Um like I I'm I'm kind of in promotions. My my biggest thing is I own a landscaping company, but um since I started following the Uncle Nearest brand, I was just trying to find out are y'all looking for people like in um like in Ohio, because I think they just came to Ohio maybe like six months ago to like do things like promote the brand. I had one on the website and I think at the time y'all said y'all weren't looking for anybody um, at that time for people to just kind of promote the brand. Is that something that y'all that you're looking for help with that or the, the brand is kind of taking off and you guys don't really need like any like on the ground help in certain cities or anything anymore? Yeah, this this brand is different from, you know, the other brands that I'm notoriously famous for. Uh, we didn't really go the normal, you know, promotional route, right? The, the, you know, the nightclubs, the turn up, so forth and so on. We went, you know, mixologists and bars, man, door to door, uh, venue to venue, and kind of just explain the story, which is an amazing story. The first African American uh, distiller on record. Obviously, the relationship between Jack Daniels um, and then Fawn Weaver being an ultimate savant in her own right, uh, my history and legacy right. in the business. So we tried to really just try to make it about ed education. Um, and so it's really connected in another way. We had no idea. Again, I think we're three years and some change in business. We just got our evaluation and it's unbelievable. Um, <laughs> Crazy. Right. Yeah, I can imagine. <laughs> so so it's, it's just really about, you know, like I said, about evangelists people that are really, you know, into the mixology, you know, the, the cocktail side of it, the actual, you know what I'm saying? The liquid, um, obviously the story matches the liquid, which you really don't find ever in, um, in, in the spirit business. So not right now, as far as that's concerned, but we're always open to good ideas and great people. I mean, if, you know, if you're a landscaper, you're a salesman, and we're always in the market for people that can sell the product. So would it, would it, like, I just, I, I know, is it, is it guidelines on this? Can I ask a backup question or I can't? I mean, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, yeah go ahead. I, I, my, it's real quick. I was just going to say, Kenny, what's the best way to do that? Because I really believe in the brand. When Like, like when I say I would go see my grandmother in, in Livingston, Alabama, and then I would come back up and stop in Tennessee when it wasn't in Cleveland, Ohio yet, and then just share the story with people. Uh, I'm not even really looking to get, like, paid on anything. I'm just trying to see if, if there's anything I can do to help with the brand or, or or if I have some ideas, should I just send it like in the email to like the general website? Yeah, I mean, you, can all, you can always, you can always email me your ideas, Kenny. Uh, I'm sorry, KB at uh, Uncle Nears, or is it Kenny at Uncle Nears? We'll make sure you get the right one. Um, and then, um, yeah, I mean, I, I'm always open. She's always open. We actually just put together a program with Jack Daniels, um, you know, basically contributing $5 million a joint effort to find master distillers, uh, liquor owners, and just give them the game that we have, you know, as far as the success of our journey. So we're always looking to try new things and formulate new partnerships. So send me your ideas, brother, and I would love to keep conversing with you till we figure something out. Yeah, they, some right. people are asking about what's Uncle Nearest. I want y'all to, to go listen to episode four. Well, actually, Kenny, can you just can you just tell them? What Uncle, they might not know the story um, yeah. behind that. If they haven't heard the episode, you should listen to the episode. But episode 40. If go you haven't heard the it, episode, but... can you tell them about Uncle Nearest? Yeah, Uncle Nearest uh, is the fastest growing independently owned American whiskey in U.S. history. Um, the story goes, uh, there was a whiskey maker in Lynchburg, Tennessee, that lived on a preacher's farm called the Dan Call Farm. On that same farm, an orphan, which ended up being young Jack Daniels, came as an orphan to do chores on the Dan Call farm. Um, he, you know, would always be curious, you know, that this business was going as well as it was, and would look off into the hollow and at, kept asking what they were doing over there. And uh, Dan Call would often tell him to mind his business, go on and do your chores, until one day, Dan Call, who was a bootlegger and a preacher, was asked by his congregation to basically give up the church or the booze. 
Um, so he decided to give up the booze technically, which he really didn't. He actually gave the reins to young Jack Daniels who ended up learning how to make whiskey from Uncle Nearest. Fawn Weaver, fast forward to 2016, I think. Fawn Weaver, 2015, 2016, Fawn Weaver read a story um, in the New York Times. She was actually on vacation in Singapore. And when she read the story, she's a best-selling author. She was like, I'm gonna go down here and just kind of see if I want to write a book. She goes to Tennessee and, in, you know, and really ends up becoming a historian on Tennessee whiskey. Um, I think she's one of four or five now. And um, she just started uncovering things that no one ever, ever did. One of the first things she did was actually purchase the Dan Call Farm. And that's the, uh, the house on the bottle. Um, that's the actual Dan Call Farm. We own all 330 acres. She then bought another key property in the Jack Daniels um, family tree, um, which is the Tolly House. And then um, she started kind of getting with the family and uncovering more things. And she asked the family if she could do anything to honor Uncle Nearest, what would it be? And they said, put his recipe in a bottle. Um, you guys hear Jack Daniels all the time talk about uh, the charcoal mellowing process. Well, he learned that process from Uncle Nearest. Um, and with that, um, uh, Jack Daniels has now honored Uncle Nearest as the first African-American uh, whiskey maker on record. They put a ode to him in their distillery. When you enter the Jack Daniels tour at the distillery, you get to see uh, Uncle Nearest and his family legacy on the wall. Um, we, um, I know I'm forgetting a couple of things, um, but yeah, it's, just, it's, 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 it's out of control right now. Like I said, she, uh, did an amazing job. We have a, a 270 acre um, uh, equestrian horse farm slash distillery being built right now, which is the nearest green distillery. Um, and I'm, I think Wallace Thomas said he stops by there on his way um, from Tennessee to Ohio, but it's going incredible, man. But you know, the gangster piece and all this is that we are not owned by Jack Daniels or Brown Foreman. We are fully independent, have their full support, have taught hundreds of Brown Foreman and Jack Daniels members um, on the education of it. And a known fun fact that I wanna share for the first time, I don't even think I shared this with you two, but this house was, was known, uh, the Jack, the, 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 I'm sorry, Dan Call Farm house was known as distillery number 16 uh, with Fawn uh, Weaver's uh, uncovering of some fun facts from back in the day. It's actually distillery number seven. And if you look at Jack Daniels on everything they've ever promoted, old number seven, uh, you know, is the distillery that they pride themselves uh, on so, Jack Daniels starting his his thing, and we own that. So, so, so Uncle Uncle, Uncle Nearest was a, he was a slave, right? Yeah, Uncle Nearest was a slave. So he was he was a slave that actually taught Jack Daniels. He gave him the recipe, like the recipe for Jack Daniels comes from the slave that was his actual mentor. Correct. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I, I thought I said all that. I ain't just say all that. No, no, no. I'm just saying something. You know, hurry <laughs> here, but you know, <laughs> am I just logging on? Ain't listening. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I just gave it a hell of a story, real quick. You know? <laughs> <laughs> After being on air all day, with my little brothers, I got on this motherfucker. <laughs> I'm, I'm usually a lot more lively people, but you know that if you follow me, I'm just, I'm here for my family. Yo, yeah, ball, ball heads in bed sit forever, man. We gotta stick together. Oh man, <laughs> Wallace, we appreciate your question, man. Thank you. <laughs> Somebody just asked what happened to the clear Uncle Nearest. We couldn't get it right. The coconut shells wasn't working out. I still have a half a bottle left. If you ever make it to uh, Atlanta, I should have never drank it. I don't know what I was thinking, but yeah. Diana Owens, what's going on? Unmute yourself. You've been unmuted. Diana Owens, what's up? Hi. Hey, what's up? <laughs> I didn't expect it. Um, okay. You never know. You never know when we're going to call I someone. I did not know. Um, first of all, I want to say that I absolutely love EYL. Um, anybody that does not know about you all, I heavily promote you. And Thank you. Um, no problem. Yesterday when I was on Market Mondays, my son saw me in the Zoom call and he was like, Aren't those the guys who watch on YouTube? I'm like, Yeah, he gave me a high five. So <laughs> <laughs> that's dope. That's dope. Um, Yes, you know, kids pay attention, but um, Kenny, yeah. I love um, your journey. When I was listening to EYL, that's when I found out that you were 
like heavy in the industry. I was unaware of that. But I do want to know, um, how did you navigate those different spaces? I'm not um, familiar with how you actually started, but I do want to know how you navigated into the different roles that you went into. Um, you know what? Great question. And thank you for the compliment. I, um, I always stay sucker free. Um, I was always willing to leave um, for what I believed in. I think that I earned a certain amount of respect. I think it uh, garnered me, uh, you know, success early um, because people knew not only, you know, could I come up and create these amazing ideas and offerings, but I could execute them. And uh, again, you know, I, 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 uh, I just pride myself on never, you know, walking to Brooklyn for cheesecake. <laughs> <laughs> I had to catch on to the analogy, but that's very true. Um, I get that. And staying sucker free is important because people become familiar with your personality and they know, you know, not to try you. You know what I'm saying? And that helps you to build relationships. And yeah, it definitely opens doors and opportunities. So I appreciate that. And you know what the key to is? You know, being real, you know, obviously when we were younger, there, there was a, a, another form of being real or keeping it real. But as you get older and you make it through the fires, you realize that communication is everything. The way that you use your words and connect with people can change every situation. So I just, you know, I, I encourage all the people that look up to me, follow my journey. I posted something today with my jail picture from 1990 as a teenager, making a mistake. You know, that could have been my life but God had bigger plans for me. And I had to learn on my journey that it was bigger than my circumstance, bigger than my surroundings. It was bigger than me. And I think I've been leading by example with that for over two decades now. And it just, it fills my heart even seeing my EYL dudes. You know what I'm saying? It's like when you got it, like we don't do, you know, financial literacy in our, in our community the way we should. We don't, we don't make that as cool as Kenny Burns on the mic in front of 10,000 and making a swag surf. You know what I'm saying? Which is why <laughs> I believe in them so much because that's something I wish in my 30s I was, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I made millions in my life, but you know, I didn't become a millionaire into my 40s. And I think that at the end of the day, you know, with the information they're giving, you know, people can achieve that status much quicker. So no, I appreciate it. Kenny, KB, Kenny, man. we appreciate you, man. Um, thank you for like I said, just not even today, but just being a, a big brother to us, being a mentor for us, helping us whenever we we call and just providing information, man. One of the most genuine people that we've Absolutely. met so far. A1, so one, man. I, I, I greatly appreciate when to just say that publicly that we we greatly appreciate you. And um, oh, yeah. I know you you up to something big, big, big. So yeah, yeah it's real big, man. Keep so us in the loop. Make sure, make sure y'all go support the, the, the TKBS show and make sure y'all go so, support uh, BRNS clothing, man. I, I was rocking that in Atlanta last, two weeks ago, man. People was going crazy. So shout out to you, man. The clothing is fire, man. Go support Thank that. You. Thank you. We, we have a new collection coming out um, in October. And again, we're trying to help young spirit companies. You know, people, if, if you want to be a master distiller, if you have any desires to be uh, in the spirits business, go to unclenears.com and check out how you can get involved with some of that opportunity. Um, and yeah, man, I do. I appreciate y'all too, man. I, I think that what y'all are doing is, is dope. I'm always here if needed. And um, was there anything else I needed to promote? Oh, <laughs> send them to my, to my uh, cause y'all popping on, you know, I'm just starting on YouTube. Send, okay. them, <laughs> send them to the Kenny Fire Show, tell them to come holla at me. I got great content, amazing interviews. If you want to get your whole life, come on over. What's the Kenny, Kenny Burns Show? That's a YouTube channel, the Kenny Burns Show, YouTube channel. Yeah. The, the Kenny Burns show. Yeah, Kenny if you Burns follow show. us, go follow that, man. If not, you're doing yourself a tremendous disservice. You want to talk about A-list of A-list? There's nobody getting interviews like my man Kenny Burns, man. So and, go support and they're, that. They're telling y'all the truth. They're giving, like, when they talk to me, it's, it's, it's free. So they're telling y'all their truth. The Jamie Foxx, like, I just interviewed Big Sean today. It's going up right now. Like, you got you to, gotta, like, really tune into these episodes because it's bigger than the conversation. It's really like going to church back in the day when you got that word and you felt it in your spirit and it moved you to do something different with your life. I promise you that. But keep going, guys. I appreciate the time. Appreciate you. Appreciate you, bro. Appreciate okay. you. Shout out to Big Sean, man. Number one album in the country, too. Number yeah. one album. He's incredible. Yeah, yeah. Let's sure. go. Right, yes, KB, sir. appreciate you, bro. All right, boy. Love y'all. Peace. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My graduates from my school being Forbes. Backdrop. Backdrop. <laughs>
Mic drop. Bag drop. Bag drop. <laughs>